welcome to this house of healing. Though I fear it has become naught but a... normally consider myself well informed, particularly when it comes to matters directly concerning the defense of Neverwinter. I must confess I was somewhat embarrassed at having no advanced warning when Arabeth appeared at the gates to surrender herself to Lord Nasher. Seeing you here, I cannot help but wonder what further surprises you might bring my way. Nothing yet. As long as we are at war, he shall keep her alive to provide us with information about the Luskan troops. If we survive this war, I do not know. The law is clear enough. The penalty for Arabeth's betrayal is death. And yet, I know Lord Nasher deeply regrets Fenthic's execution and the turmoil it brought upon the city. And he rarely makes the same mistake twice. I suppose we shall just have to wait and see. Some of my operatives reported that you had recovered the fourth word of power. I wasn't surprised, given all your previous accomplishments. And what good will this word do us? We already have three of the damn things. Now that we have all four words, we may be able to unlock their power, Lord Nasher. And just how are we supposed to do that, Gend? Do you know how to use them? No, but I suspect Hadrilene understands their mysteries. She might be willing to share her secrets with our champion. You should quit wasting Gen's time. Go speak with Hadralene if you think the word is any use. I am afraid Lord Nasher is right. You should speak to Hadralene about this. Is there anything else you need? Yes, I heard he met a fittingly violent end. Yet, the enemy's spirit is not broken. Others step forward from the ranks to assume the leadership of Luskin's army. As we feared, there is some darker power behind the invaders than even Magrum. All we can do is hold on as long as we are able, and pray help arrives in time. Is there something else you need? If not, I should get back to my reconnaissance reports. Hadrilene does not trust us, I fear. Understandable, considering the reception she received upon her arrival. You the only one she is willing to speak to. Perhaps it would be best if you kept her secrets. If she wishes to share them with us, she will send for either Lord Nasher or myself. I am more than just a spy master now. I am responsible for coordinating the entire defense of Neverwinter. I will not risk alienating a potential ally in Hadrilene. I trust you, and I suspect that whatever information Hadrilene has shared is something I cannot help you with in any case. If we had the manpower, I would place an entire company at your disposal. But I need every warm body on the battle lines just to keep Luskin from taking the city core. You will have to act on Hadrilene's information on your own, I'm afraid. Is there anything else I can help you with? Yes, there is still much that must be done if Neverwinter is to be saved. These are strange times. My city is in ruins and all but overrun by Luscan forces. 
And yet Erebeth, the leader of our enemies, sits in our dungeons awaiting my judgment. Were things not so grim, I might laugh at the absurdity of it all. What is it you need of me? While the war rages on, she will live. She can provide us valuable information about our enemy's tactics and numbers. As for her fate when this is all over, that is a matter I have not yet decided. Such matters are to be decided later. After all you have done for the city, the least I can do is answer your questions. Although Gend probably knows more than I do. Come and go as you please. You've earned that right. Perhaps if Neverwinter had more people like you, things wouldn't look so bleak. Any important information you come across should be reported directly to Eren Gend. I've placed him in charge of the defense of the city. Come too late. Morag has grown too strong. She has feasted on the souls of the plague victims and fed her power through the rituals of Morgrim. I can no longer stop her return. Soon my mistress will have the power to break free of the Source Stone. Even without the words of power, I am only a word slave. I can do nothing against the growing power of my queen. <laughs> but where I have failed, you may yet succeed. And enter the Source Stone itself, and confront Morag before she reclaims her full power. You could destroy her before she awakens the Old Ones. The Source Stone is located in the dungeons beneath this castle. I have already told this to the warm blood you call Lord Nasher. There are four pedestals surrounding the Source Stone. Place the words of power on the pedestals, and you will be drawn into the very heart of the Source Stone itself. <sighs> you must hurry. Every delay allows Morag to grow stronger. <sighs> I wish you luck for the sake of us all. It is good to see you again. When I surrendered to Lord Nasher, I was certain my execution would be swift. But it seems Lord Nasher has chosen to let me live, for now at least. I am glad, if for no other reason than it gives me a chance to see you again. I am at peace for the first time since Fenthic's death, and I have you to thank. You saved me. I no longer fear my fate. When Fenthic... When Fenthic was executed, I thought I had lost everything. But now I see this is not true. I have you. You were there when I was in my darkest hour. You were there when I needed you. But I was too blind to see. But you never gave up on me. I have found myself again. And I finally see how... How special you are to me. They say it is better to have loved and lost than not to have loved at all. I never used to believe that, until now. I loved Fenthic with all my heart, and his memory will always be dear to me. 
But that does not mean I can never love another. Perhaps in time we might, if things had been different. Lord Nasher has not passed judgment on me yet. I am content with whatever fate awaits, but in his eyes, I see hope that I might live. Should Neverwinter survive, he may choose another sentence for me. I may yet be given a chance to make some small amends for what I have done. There is yet hope for me, and for us. Forgive me for speaking so frankly about this. My heart could not stay silent, but I should not have burdened you with this. Not while you still must face Morag. If fate is kind, perhaps we will be able to continue this once Morag is slain. But while she lives, we must set our own feelings aside for the greater good. Perhaps if I had learned this lesson long ago, tragedy could have been averted. Forgive me, but I will speak of my feelings for you no more. You must concentrate on the task at hand. I have already given most of my information to Erengend and Lord Nasher. Luskin battle plans and the location of their troops. But I will try to help you however I can. This I cannot do. Even if Lord Nasher chose to release me from this cell, I would have to refuse your request. I serve too long under the Queen of the Old Ones. She has a... a hold over me. A power I fear I might not be able to resist. I will not put myself in the position where I might betray Neverwinter again. I have learned from my mistakes. The Old Ones are an ancient and evil race distantly related to the Lizardmen of our own time. Morag was their queen during the height of their empire. But the world changed, and the North became a frozen waste, and Morag placed her people in a magical stasis within the Soul Stone to await the time of their awakening. More than this I cannot say. When I served Morag, I cared little for the reasons behind the attack on Neverwinter. I only cared about revenge, but I am finally free of that burden. The Soul Stone is a great gem located in long-forgotten chambers beneath Castle Never. Within this gem is an entire other world, a realm where Morag and her people await the time of the Awakening. I know the words of power were somehow connected with raising Morag and her people from their slumber, but beyond this, there is little I can tell you. I understand. There is still much that must be done if Morag is to be defeated. I wish you luck. Ah! I can't bear this much weight and keep up! Back again? Is there something I can do for you?
一步，所来路，萨瓦兹卡。What a true warrior looks like. Done and done. You are not from my world of Azala, but I thank you for your aid nonetheless. Had you not intervened, I fear I would have succumbed to the Scaled Raiders. My name is Ashira of the Shining Order from the city of Sahaladar. My garments are those of my people, though perhaps they look as strange to you as your own garb does to me. As for the name Erebeth, I have no knowledge of her. Was she a companion of yours? Morag? That name is known to me. The Queen of the Scaled Raiders! Her face has haunted my dreams. Her voice hissing whispered promises of power to tempt me to turn against my people. But I am of the Shining Order, sworn in service to Sahaladar, greatest of the floating cities on Azala. I am not Erebeth. I am Ashira. And yet, there are many worlds and planes of existence drawn together in this strange place. It may be that the one you call Erebeth is my parallel in your world. Or I am her parallel, if you prefer. Perhaps that is why we have been brought together. You say this Erebeth betrayed her faith. She was lost to Morag's evil. Perhaps we have met so that I may help you avenge her fall. I am a true knight of the Shining Order of Sahaladar. Perhaps I have been brought here from Azala to redeem the memory of Erebeth, that her soul may be cleansed of its sins by my actions.
sorry. enough. Done and done. Sorry. this fight come fair enough Ugh. done and done Ipul, 
Soleno Samatka. Soleno Samatka. Now see what a true warrior looks like. Sorry. Fair enough. Sorry. It will be your last! Welcome to the 
this house of healing.
dying. Welcome to this house of... Crosses. This much weight and keep up. Yes. Make this fight count! It will be your last! In our absence, the lesser races have gone bold! The slaves act as kings, building cities and nations, and laying claim to that which is ours! Tear down the cities! Death to the war plans! Hadrian and the word slaves have betrayed us, abandoning us to our exile within the soft stone! The traitors! Ah. Death to the word slaves! The time of awakening has come! The creators shall rise again and unleash vengeance on the world that has forgotten us! Hail Morag! Ah. Lead us to vengeance! A storm of fire shall banish the endless winter! The city of slaves shall be utterly consumed by the flames of our rebirth! The High Priests prepare the final rituals that will unlock the Source Stone and free us from our prison! Soon, 
You are powerful for a slave. You have slain Morgrim, the prophet who heralded my coming. You have defeated Erebeth, the champion I chose from among my slave races. You have slaughtered many of my warriors and priests. But now you face Moag, Queen of the Old Ones, High Priestess of the Creators! Kneel, slave, and I shall let you live! I shall rip away your flesh and feast upon your soul!
warm blood. destroyed her magic as well. The world she had created, the source stone, crumbled into madness. All trapped with blood. I used my magic to open a portal from the collapsing source stone into this of refuge between that world and your own. I am glad you found the portal and escaped with your life warm blood. My time here comes short. The words of power are broken. My magic is fading. And this astral pocket will also collapse. The time of the creator race is here. Just as there was no place for Morag. Morag and the old one is answered. I am not. The power of the ancient magics of the Dark Queen could not stand against your might. You are the savior of Neverwinter. your own world, but a thousand hours that would have fallen to Morag's power. You could have faced Morag's power and survived. But even though you have ended the threat of the later race, your work is far from done. Your legend and fame will continue to grow, spreading throughout the world. But Morag will not be the most dangerous foe you face in your lifetime. As you become ever more powerful, so will those who seek to destroy you. There are many who will try to steal that which you have worked so hard for. And others will seek to forge their own legend by destroying you. Your enemies will band together. They will strike when you resist. That is the price of the and fortune. More than this I cannot say. For my magic has grown weak with the destruction of the words of power. And the mists of time cloud my vision. Quickly now, warm blood. I cannot sustain this astral pocket much longer. The portal behind me will return you to your own world. Thank you for all you have done. Never again will I be a word slave.
victory. Without Morag, the Source Stone crumbled, and the great empire of the Old Ones was finally laid to rest. The deaths of these ancients could be felt throughout Neverwinter. Deprived of Morag's influence, the invading army faltered. The siege was soon turned. The toll of the battle had been high, but Neverwinter would not be consumed by grief or regret. Too many had already made that mistake. The city would rebuild and move forward. And what of the honored champion who had fought so hard while others fell? Their story does not end here, for this is a world of infinite tales. New adventures still await, and new legends are yet to be forged. <laughs>